Hello and welcome to a video with me, Raindell. Uh, today is the last of the videos I'll publish on the current class match season. Uh, in the eighth day, we got kind of an extra day nobody was really expecting. Um, and so I decided to uh, try out Double Quicken. I was getting my ass handled by, uh, by those teams, so I decided to try it out myself. Um, especially after watching a great uh, Gunner Double Quicken team uh, by a Prodigy on his stream. Uh, and if you guys want to learn more about live PvP, uh, go watch it. I'm going to link it in the description below uh, so you can uh, take a look at someone who knows a lot more on this topic than I do. Uh, but I decided to do my own take on this team and try to win a couple matches. So uh, here are two that I thought were pretty interesting. Uh, so uh, let's take a look. All right, so for this first match, I'm going to show you the matches and then go into my team composition and show you the stats so you can see that at the end. But I want to get you guys directly into the action this time because uh, the idea is we want to use Frederica to cast Barrage several times in a row before the enemy team gets the chance to hit us. That's what we're set to do. So we've set our agility so that um, everybody manages to cast Quicken and so Frederica can resolve multiple turns at once. Uh, and in this battle, my agility was actually poorly set because Frederica is faster than Elshra. In subsequent matches, I made uh, Frederica a bit slower uh, so she could get a uh, triple turn effectively instead of a one turn and then another two turns uh, after her first. Um, because right now, if she goes first, I can't grab a crystal on her first turn because that puts her out of Elshra's range. Um, but yeah, and it's funny because we're fighting another team that's running uh, the exact same composition, except they've replaced Elstra with Helena. So they are built to um, get uh, multiple quickens as well. So because of our agility mistake, I cannot quicken uh, Frederica immediately. And what I can do is just move Elstra in a position where she can potentially help uh, later on. But uh, that's the uh, the first mistake. So if you want to set up a team with multiple quickens, I think you have to set your quickeners so that they act before your carry, uh, but their first quicken that they cast procs after uh, your carry plays its first turn, so that you effectively get three turns uh, in a row. Uh, so in this context, Frederica gets one turn here. Uh, she does have aimed fire on and a lot of um, damage. So I know that I'm able to take out one of the enemy's quickens before it goes off. Uh, so that's what I decide to do. Um, I was fortunate that my Nivlu was faster than the, uh, the enemy team. And that's another key thing that I've learned, is if your team is slower than the enemies, uh, their uh, quicken strategy will proc before mine. And that means they get to kill all of our guys. Um, so here, what would have happened, probably, is um, if I had been slower, she would have killed Elshra uh, before I got my, uh, my Quicken off. Now, I did screw up my own agility, so I did not get a Quicken on Elshra, uh, but that's the, uh, that's the thing. At that point, the match is pretty much over, unless they get a lucky reflex, because I was able to kill uh, their two Quickeners, and yes, they have a Frederica with Bells, uh, but it's a 2 on 1, and she... Uh, just lacks the damage to kill uh, Nivlu in one hit now that I've taken that crystal. Uh, and it will take her two hits to kill Frederica. So we'll have a lot of chances to hit her and um, just take her out before she uh, she can kill us. Uh, so yeah, she, even, she just uh, times out. But even if she had attacked, I don't think she would have killed anyone there. And at that point, I decide to go and build a chain so that Nivlu can kill her, and uh, the match is over. So, first one done. Okay, so let's see a second match. Um, and I was still fine-tuning my team, and later mat iter iterations, I was able to give Frederica an actual triple turn. Um, but I did fight a lot of auto teams in the last day, so I had more trouble uh, getting good recordings out of it, because you can see me just rain down barrages on an auto team, but that's not as entertaining, I feel. So here you can tell, I changed things up. I made Frederica slower so that Elshra could cast before Frederica gets her turn. And we're fighting a team that also has one quicken unit, which is Phoebe, and then uh, Yuna and Sakura. So uh, they're a uh, high-powered team, but we have the range advantage. So it's all a question of 
can we kill them fast enough uh, for them not to kill us? And if you guys watched my previous class match video, um, I was able to beat um, these kind of teams more often than not, but it was still a close one because I had to take a couple hits and um, if Yuna got enough counter procs, I would be uh, potentially losing. <laughs> I actually lost uh, a couple matches against Odo opponents that just would get their counter heal proc uh, back to back. Uh, but with Quicken, it's possible to build a chain more easily on um, somebody like Yuna uh, so that the final hit, once you've built enough of a chain, can one-shot her and then you are no longer vulnerable to that um, uh, non-stop counter heal uh, that might happen. So here, Frederica gets her turn, casts her buff, moves forward, grabs a crystal. Uh, we get the first quicken. Now I know I'm getting an extra turn right after this one, but my opponent did a good job. He spread out, so I cannot just um, take several people out with two barrages. I decide to kill their quicken target for two reasons. First, Phoebe might have full life. And then uh, if they get an extra turn on someone, I will probably lose immediately. So I decide to take her out, then get an extra turn on Frederica. And at that point, I could go for either one. But I don't want to hit Yuna because she might heal back up. And I really need to make lasting damage. So I decide to go and hit Sakura instead. Uh, building a lightning chain with two hits, because why not? And at that point, I'm moving back so that I'm in quicken range from the rest of our team. Uh, and our agility is kind of timed so that since Frerika is so much slower... Um, well, I'm not sure if it's because she's slower, but I'm happy that when she comes back, I'm able to get an extra turn. Uh, obviously, there's lots of tweaking and learning to do with this team, uh, but it's happened a couple times where after the first double quicken, she comes back and then takes an extra turn immediately because we're able to cast another one. So that's pretty uh, pretty impressive to me. I uh, It's the first time I'm using this strategy. Um, like I was saying, I was getting beat by it almost every time, and I can understand why. It's very, very powerful. Like, I didn't really have to take any risks so far, and I've taken out two of their uh, characters just by having a very mobile attacker go up and down the uh, center area and then just hit everyone I want. So at that point, I'm getting ready to give uh, Nivlu a double turn, uh, but Yuna gets another turn in the meantime. And that's the, uh, the funny thing. I think this is Yuna's second turn, and my Frederica has already played um, one, two, three, three times, four times. So it doesn't feel very fair. So there, Yuna, I'm not sure what happened there. I feel like she skipped a turn or something, like she just teleported there and um, LB'd Frederica. It was very weird to me that she would move from halfway across the map to this position and limit break. I don't know what happened, but uh, she manages to kill Frederica right before my double turn. So that is fine with me. I can, uh, I can probably build a chain on her and then possibly finish her with um, Elshra. At that point, I am uh, in a good spot if she doesn't get her heal uh, counter proc. If she does, that might put me in a bit of trouble. So I'm looking at my damage options, decide to do uh, whichever one, uh, and slowing her, uh, her movement a little bit. And then since if I move, I still get another turn before Yuna, I'm fine with that. Um, so my idea was trying to get as many turns as I can to hit her uh, because I want to make sure that she doesn't get a counter and heal back up. Now I'm lucky, counter doesn't proc, so we don't need the extra turn from Nivlu. But it would have been very important uh, had she uh, gotten the, um, the extra turn. And also, well, she comes back to life, so we do end up needing that, uh, that turn. What really I'm wondering is how did she get to that position from uh, the other place and then used her limit break. But there we go, so another nice win. Alright, so you guys have seen the matches, let's quickly take a look at the formation. Um, so here we go, and I think the most important part is tweaking your agility so that you can execute that first uh, multi-turn and then possibly another one. Um, so the first character is Nivlu, she's at 108 agility. 
Uh, then we're trying to build damage as much as we can, so we're using a, a attack up and uh, acquired AP up vision card. Um, time mage, obviously, if you want to run quick and it's pretty important to have the time mage. And then here are the stats, just if you want to do something similar. Um, and to tweak agility, what we're using is equipment and espers. So we're using a very fast esper and Hermes shoes on Nivlu to give her as much agility as we can. Uh, then Elshra has, again, two agility pieces of equipment. And uh, Shiva, who's a rather fast esper as well. Um, and she's at 93 agility with all of that. Uh, it was kind of tough to put Elshra um, faster than Frederica. Uh, I don't have Chell or uh, another fast, really fast MR time mage, uh, so I kind of had to um, to slow down my Frederica because of it. Uh, otherwise, I think you want to build as much agility on everybody and have your um, your uh, attacker be just a little bit slower than the other teams because that allows you to execute your game plan before the other teams. Um, but so this is what she has. And then I uh, also gave up the idea of running Mashari's TMR, uh, which would be a great defensive boost for all my team. Uh, but if I have a strategy that can kill all the enemy team before uh, I get attacked, I don't need defense. So it, it's kind of going all in into a strategy and hoping that it works. Uh, then for Frederica, I am running Golem for some Maneater, but also uh, a, as a slower Esper. Uh, and then uh, she has 84 agility. I noticed that if I gave her a TMR that has agility, uh, because of the unit affinity that she has with Niflu, she ends up being faster in-game than uh, Elshra is, so I had to uh, switch that. And I'm kind of happy running these two pieces because uh, it's ways to get accuracy, and if I'm fighting an um, evasion team, I can possibly use Blood, blood Boil and then uh, have enough accuracy to reliably hit them with barrages, uh, taking out more than one at once. So uh, that's the thinking behind running these pieces of gears over uh, anything else here. Uh, and again, here are the stats. Um, so that's it. All right, well, that was it. Uh, last, last one of my class matches video for this season, so uh, the other ones will come uh, in another month or so when we get the next one. Uh, definitely a good learning experience. I feel like this quicken strategy is almost unfair, and if you can learn to master that, uh, a lot of matches will go your way. It's kind of the only way to fight it reliably is with uh, quicken yourself. Um, so it's kind of uh, biting the bullet and going with the uh, the flow, but I feel like that's where the uh, current meta is, and we kind of have to use these kind of strategies to compete at a higher level. Again, I'm not the biggest pro in live PvP, lots of guys are more experienced than I am, but I will link in the description below uh, the Discord for live PvP that's um, created by uh, Donald Boone, and you definitely should go there if you want to learn more about this community and uh, strategy in general. These uh, players are all very knowledgeable about the game and about strategies, uh, and I do learn a lot from them uh, every time I uh, have some time to read. Um, so that's it, hopefully you guys have fun. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe, it will make it more likely that you see my videos in the future. And then, as always, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.